Vincenzo. All your video is Italian food, Italian food, hiya, so boring. Vincenzo, Uncle Roger challenged you to make egg fried rice. It looks simple, but it not. So many people f it up. Remember, don't be like Jamie Oliver. Don't use chili jam. Uncle Roger challenged me to make egg fried rice. And here it is, Uncle, the real authentic way with MSG. But I've also bastardized egg fried rice. Everyone bastardized Italian food. You do want to watch this video until the end. This is the authentic version. Mm -hmm. This is the bastardized Italian style version. Hi. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate the place where you normally learn how to cook Italian food. But today I am making egg fried rice because Uncle Roger asked me to do that and he's going to react to this. So I'm gonna make it the most authentic, delicious way. Come on. The day before or two days before you make egg fried rice, you make the rice. You never make the rice on the same day. Now, what rice are we gonna use? You have to use Chinese rice. But normally Chinese rice comes in big bags of 10 kilos. So I went to the Asian grocery store. I spoke to the older lady in there, you know, the one with experience. She was so lovely, so nice. And she said to me, look, you don't make fried rice every day. What you need to do, get the Thai rice. Oh, so get the Thai rice, which is this one, and it will taste fantastic. So this is what we're using today. What we also need is some chicken stock. Uncle Roger says chicken stock make the rice taste better. So if you're making a risotto, an Italian risotto, we don't wash the rice because we want the starch from the rice. But this is Asian cuisine, okay? You must wash the rice. So you take all the bad stuff out, okay? Now we are going to cook the rice in a rice cooker. So let's put the rice in the rice cooker. All right, so what we do now, we cover the rice with the chicken stock just until we cover it. Now we put the lid on, go and cook, and the rice cooker will know when the rice is ready. After a few minutes, remove the lid, and we can stir the rice. Guys, the rice should look like this the day after, nice and dry. That's how the perfect egg fried rice is made. To make the perfect egg fried rice, we need simple ingredients. That's what food is all about, simplicity. We start from the shallot. Hello. Oh. We start from the shallot over here. Uncle Roger believes onions are not good enough. Onions are for cheap people. So if you want to look and believe you're a millionaire, you get shallots. Then we're going to use three garlic cloves. I think that's more than enough. Here I have a beautiful homemade chili jam. Hi. I was going to say, the chili jam is not to be used in this recipe. So you make it and keep it in the fridge. For this recipe, we're gonna use a fresh chili, but sometimes, you know, it's not strong enough. So I recommend you to use sambal. It's a nice chili paste that you can use together with a fresh chili. Spring onion, we're gonna use spring onion, so important. Then I'm gonna use four eggs. I'm gonna get two egg yolks, and two entire egg. Sesame oil, soy sauce, pepper, extra virgin olive oil. Hi. Uh... <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Vegetable oil, vegetable oil for the wok. Guys, if you want to add any other ingredients, you can. You can use prawns, you can use salmon, you can use meat, everything chopped. You can use vegetables. Don't use vegetable. Vegetable tastes like sad. No, vegetables are good for you, Uncle Roger. You can also use shrimp paste and fish sauce to give extra flavor to the fried rice. I personally don't like to use them, but you can if you want very, very strong, rich flavors. So I'll tell you one thing. I went to the shop to buy this, and this is all in Chinese, okay? The only thing in English is gourmet powder. 
So it means it's good. I don't want to know what's inside. I don't know what's inside. So if Uncle Roger believes it's good, I believe him. MSG is king of flavor. Let's cut our ingredients and I'm using a small knife to cut the ingredients. Now first we want to cut the shallot, the beautiful, beautiful shallot. Look at that. Now we finally, finally chop the garlic. When I say finally, we want this to be fine, extremely fine. So much shallot and garlic, I'm starting to cry over here. Oh, I don't know how Uncle Roger does it. Oh. And again, we finally, finally chop the chili. Finally, 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 finally chop. Now, last but not least, we're gonna cut the spring onion. So, Uncle Roger removes this part. We remove the end part here. Okay, and now we can chop all of this. Okay, chop, chop. Finally, finally, finally chop. Now we're gonna get two egg yolks and two entire eggs. And two. And now we're gonna whisk the eggs. Whisk, 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 whisk. Now I'm gonna add the sambal in the eggs, okay? I put it in the eggs. So when I mix it, I already have the flavor in there. The kick of the chili. And mix. Time for cooking, guys. So get a wok and we're gonna cook the rice. Where your wok? Where your wok? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, well, this is the wok I make pasta with. I meant get a wok, a real wok. This is my personal wok and I love it. You do need a wok when you make fried rice, okay? Do not use European woks, please. First thing we need to do, guys, is to turn the fire on, okay? In 2021, you can use induction, yes, but you know, we keep it authentic, we use the fire. What we're going to do now is we are going to put vegetable oil in there. Or you can use peanut oil if you want. Just peel enough oil. And the oil is what the wok needs, okay? So we just make it hot and spread the oil until we see the smoke coming out. This is an important utensil. You do need this spoon, which is perfect for egg fried rice, okay? This was recommended to me by the lady at the Asian grocery store. She said, get this one because this is the one I use. Look at the wok, look at the wok. It's telling you, please cook in me. I need food, I need food. So let's try out the oil. Yeah, let's try out the oil. Now to cook, we're gonna add a little bit of vegetable oil. And now we're gonna cook the shallot and the garlic, okay? We're gonna cook it until they're ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And this is what we do. Stir, it's gonna take a couple of minutes, no more. You just stir. Beautiful, oh, I love the smell. Love this beautiful smell. Okay, guys, the shallot, the garlic, they're ready. So what we can do now is we can put the egg. Ready? Uh, let's go with the egg. Go with the egg and mix. Guys, make sure you mix now. Mix, 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 mix. We've got egg, shambal in there. We don't want the egg to dry, okay? We want the egg to be moist. Look how beautiful. Okay, now let's add the rice, which I'm gonna get with my hand. Let's put rice. One, two, three, Oh, look how beautiful the rice is. It's nice and dry, just the way we want it. Perfection. Be very generous. Let's put the chili. Let's put the shallots. All the shallots in there. And let's stir. Let's keep stirring now. Come on. Stir, stir, stir all your ingredients. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Now let's gonna add some pepper, some black pepper. Let's put a nice amount of soy sauce. Come on, be generous with the soy sauce. Be generous. Yeah, you don't count how much you put. Let's put sesame oil. And again, be generous with sesame oil. Yes, baby. Let's be generous. And now again, let's mix, mix, mix. Love doing this. Toss, toss. Oh, let's make sure the soy sauce. 
the sesame oil makes love with the egg fried rice. I've got only one thing in mind. I've got Uncle Roger's voice telling me. If your rice too wet, you fucked up. This is Uncle Roger favorite time, MSG. MSG is king of flavor. Yes, let's put as much as we can, come on. Oh, is that enough Uncle Roger? Is that enough Uncle Roger? All right, come on, let's stir. Let's stir, let's finish it. Let's finish it off, yeah. Oh, I think now we can serve it. Time to plate this beautiful egg fried rice. Ah, yes. Look how nice it is, look how lovely. Look how lovely this fried rice is. I wish I put some prawns in there. Oh, I really wanted to make this with prawns. I love prawns. Let's see if the MSG took this to the next level. Let's see. Now, can you see? Can you see the rice? See, they're all individual. They're not stuck together. It's not wet. It's dry enough. This is something Uncle Roger will be very proud of. This is what Uncle Roger wants to see. Love it. Everyone is bastardizing Italian food. So today I am bastardizing egg fried rice and I am very sorry to do this. I do not want to do it, but I have to do it. So I'm going to replace sesame oil, soy sauce and MSG with Italian homemade passata, tomato passata, and my white powder of choice, pecorino, my Italian MSG. Let's see what it's gonna taste like. Okay, guys, here, now what we do is no soy sauce, no sesame oil. I've got eight tablespoons of beautiful passata. Let's put it there. Oh, oh hello. Let's put it, you wanna put more? Put more. Let's put more, come on, here we go. Oh, the egg fried rice is becoming a passata. Well, you know, if that's what you think it is, that you have to change the flavors of a cuisine because of your taste buds, then what, Italians will be doing this? Now it's time to add the pecorino, the MSG of Italy. Let's put the, is that enough? Let's toss, toss, toss. And let's serve this beautiful, Egg fried rice. Look how wet this is. Huh? This is basically what Uncle Roger doesn't want to see in egg fried rice. <music> Guys, I need to sit down for this because this is something I've never done before, okay? Bastardizing a cuisine, it's not me. But let's try the egg fried rice following the Uncle Roger recipe. And I took it to the next level, I believe. This is with MSG, done the authentic way. Let's try. Mmm, mmm. Beautiful, full of flavors. The sambal, really, really, Gives it a nice kick, the kick that you want. Mmm. 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 I love it. How can you go wrong with such a beautiful, simple dish? You can feed the whole family with this and it's yummy. Now let's try the Italian version. It's not a risotto, it's egg fried rice with passata and pecorino. Let's see. A bit bland, it's missing the soy sauce, it's missing the sesame, a little bit bland. It's not bad, I mean, if you're hungry, you eat it, but let me try again. Mm. Nothing like the real deal. This is what I always say, keep your food authentic. Let's not bastardize the cuisine. You can't tell me that because of your palate, you have to change the recipe. So what, because I'm Italian, I'm not gonna use soy sauce and I use Homemade passata because of my taste pad? No, it's not because of my taste pads. 
my taste is bad if I do that. This is the authentic way and this is what we eat. Always keep it real, guys. This is why I do videos about Italian cuisine. That's why I teach you how to do Italian cuisine. It's because I'm passionate about the real flavors. Mm, mm. I challenge Uncle Roger to make carbonara. He challenged me to make egg fried rice. Who did a better job, huh? You tell us. Uncle Roger is going to react to my egg fried rice. Go and check out the video on his channel. It's coming out very soon. You need to make sure you go and subscribe to Uncle Roger. He's the funniest. He's so funny. He can make you laugh even when you're sad. That's what you need in your life, Uncle Roger. Guys, I'm enjoying this beautiful egg fried rice thanks to Uncle Roger. Fui I love him, he makes me laugh, and now he makes my belly happy too. So thank you so much. And thank you so much, guys, for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. But first, you have to subscribe to Uncle Roger. E ora si mangia Vincenzo's Plate. Mmm. 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 Yum, yum.